So my presentation was about uh, HTA, Health Technology Assessment, and the HTA regulation, which is a legislation that is going to be implemented as of 2025 within the European Union. This means that it will affect only countries that are part of the European Union. So this HTA regulation will be very impactful because the intention is to produce joint work uh, at European level that will be taken up by member states at national level. So the HTA regulation is a transformative leg legislation because it implies member states to collaborate more, harmonize their methods, harmonize the way they involve patients in their work, uh, this is not evident because some member states don't have resources yet, so they are still building their capacity to make sure that uh, HTA is fully embedded in their national work. What uh, this means for patient organizations, for sure it implies more efforts in coordinating um, the national perspective. So uh, members of MPE, will have to coordinate themselves and collaborate more with MPE to make sure that the views are as far as possible streamlined and to make sure there is a somehow an agreement on what matters to patients uh, living with myeloma. So it's not going to be a, a, an easy exercise, but uh, we think that more collaboration will support also those patients that don't have capacity yet, and there will be a learning opportunity for, for all of them. Uh, MPE will have to build co communication channels, making sure that there is someone communicating to the national level organizations. On the same uh, level, national level organization, we'll have to find someone that is there to communicate with MPE. It was also mentioned during the discussion that it's very good for national member organi uh, organizations of MPE to get in touch with HTA bodies in their countries. This is really key because if they don't have those contacts yet, they can start at least to build some understanding of how HTA works in their national context and how they can better collaborate with uh, the HTA body. So in this sense, I would say this last uh, recommendation is valid for all MPE members, also those that are not part of the European Union.